I use social media a lot to stay up to date in my industry, share my findings, and of course promote my content. But it's not always I know how to phrase my posts. Today's product showcase is Predis.ai, a platform helping you to schedule and generate all of your social media posts utilizing AI. So without further ado, let's dive into Predis.ai and schedule our social media posting. We are now signed into Predis.ai and the first you will see is the content library. This is the content that I have already generated. So all of the content that you generate will be able to show in here. And you can then edit the post or you can of course schedule them. You can also download them and remove them if you have already scheduled them or archive them. But let's just dive into the first one here where you will also see some of the content process but I will also show you the entire process a little bit later in the video. Now here you can see that we have to choose first the template we want to use. You can also upload your own template if you have built one, otherwise they have some templates you can choose between here. I would like them to have more templates, but of course this is a start. I have gone with the first template, open card marketing software, you can see. What I can then do is I can edit the actual template here. And now we are in the phase where we can basically edit almost anything on this specific template. We can change the font, we can change the text, we can change the images, the graphics and so on. So you can see up here it has a logo brand. I would like to change that. Now if I want to change this, I have to go to upload and then upload my logo. I have now inserted the logo. I would like that I could just pull it from the brand profile, but this will also do to start with. So I'll add my logo up here. I will then change the text to YouTube video review. The image is fine. I will change the order now to watch now. And then last but not least, I will change the website down here to my own website. And now we have it almost ready. Now, when I set up my specific brand profile for my workspace, I added fonts, I added colors and a logo. So right in here, I would really like to see that I could use those easily because right now I can only choose the different elements, photos, etc. So if I want to change the color, I have to basically find my own color again. I would like them to just lay here so I could easily just click on them and change the colors. But this will also do to start with. So now I have just changed the template and now I like it overall. I can either download it to schedule it in another program or I can just save and close it. So now the template is ready. The next step is choosing our captions. And here is where we can generate content. So right now it has generated two pieces, but let's just try and generate some more. So you can see here that this overall was what they set up to begin with. And here I just described what I do very broad. I described that I do software reviews, so you can see that these are very generic. This one is talking about some specific software that so you can use to grow your business. This one down here is talking about social media tools. And this one up here is more or less blank. It's talking about social media marketing software, website marketing software, and SEO software. For now, I will just go with the bottom one here. And now let's move on to hashtags. These hashtags are based on what I have written, but basically it's just telling me what hashtags has the most amount of posts which fits my specific post. And this is not always the best hashtag. I would really like to see maybe trending hashtags or just something except for how many posts there are. Of course, I can also change to sort them by being a caption or being creative, and I can sort them by relevancy and reach. So you can see when I use these filters, it changes with the amount of posts and then we get maybe a more specific hashtag that we can use. But still I need some explanation about why these specific hashtags are relevant for my post and which one will be the best to use because here I just have a long list of specific hashtags that I can use. But now let's just add the hashtag social media marketing and just media marketing. And then let's move on to suggestions. So because my Instagram profile that I use doesn't have enough posts, I cannot get any suggestions. Otherwise in here, their AI algorithm would be able to give me suggestions about what I could change to make this even better. 
but now we have it ready and what I can then choose to do is I can either add it to the calendar or I can just download it. So for now, I'll just keep it as it is and close it down. So you can see it's laying over here at the moment. But let's try and go to the content calendar. This is a quick overview of your specific post when they are being published. Down here you can see that they are also showing what days are public holidays and you can also change to show it as a list if that's easier for you. So right now at the moment it will make four different posts for me. First the review of the best website marketing software, then a photo showing the team members, share what you're using currently to optimize your marketing and sales and then the post we just made together now. So let's move over and create a completely new post. When you create a new post, you can choose to either generate it using AI or you can just write it yourself. But of course we want to try out the AI and I want to make a post about a specific software called Active Campaign. So now I have written a text about Active Campaign that is an email marketing software which has been developed to an enterprise solution in the late years and a little bit more information. The input language is English and I can choose the output language to be a different language depending on how I post on my social media accounts. For now I keep it in English. Down here you can choose how many different types of posts you want based on what you've just written. So right now I've chosen one promotional post, one educational post, one behind the scene post and then one where they just surprise me with an example. So I will now generate four posts for this specific input I have given the AI. It has now generated the different posts and it does take a little bit of time because not only does it have to generate the text, it also has to generate the actual templates. But overall it's a bit of a mix. The first one here is talking about the team behind working tirelessly on active campaign. And then it's talking about three different steps. This is not really what I'm looking for. So let's move on. The next one here is talking about my experience using Active Campaign. And it's telling that the Active Campaign is a feature packed email marketing platform. That's really great. And what I really like about these templates generated is that they're using my logo, they're using my font and my color. So I will save a lot of time. Now, one thing about the middle one here is that I described Active Campaign to be a software for enterprise companies. But here it's talking about that the best part is that Active Campaign is made for small business owners. And that's a little bit opposite of what I just described before. So this one could work if I just edit it a little bit. Now, this one over here, a step by step guide on how to create an email campaign in Active Campaign. This one could be really interesting. And it has the steps here. And I could attach this to a video describing how you do it. That's a really great choice. Now the last one here is very different in the design compared to the first three. Here it is talking about how you scale your email marketing. And that was also one of my inputs before. So this is also a great choice. It is talking about that someone will reveal five tips, recommend tools, and talk in general about entrepreneurs, what they can expect working with her. So this one also, again, if I edit it a little bit, it would be great to use. But here we have four great choices. And when I press edit post, we are then again in the editor, which I shown you just before. So that is the content creation phase. The last module I want to show you is the competitor analysis. This is a really interesting tool. I don't feel it's completely developed and production ready yet, but with the changes coming from their roadmap, this will be really powerful. So right now I have entered my own Instagram profile and I have entered Neil Patel's Instagram profile. So here I get an overview of my own post where it's telling me the share of voice. And this is basically the percentage that I add on my social media account. So I'm talking 14% about these two posts, 35% about the next type of post and so on. And over here we can see the engagement rate, which is working really well, what is not working so well. And this is a great way to test different genres and then go with the one that works the best for your target group. Because here we can also see the average engagement number of likes and comments on the specific posts. Now the way it works if I want to see my competitor is I have to change it. I would really like to have one view 
where I could compare myself to my competitors. But now choosing my competitors, you can see that the numbers are completely different. And he does also have a lot more social media posts than I do. But here again, we can see the average engagement rate is a bit higher. The engagement rate in percentage is lower. We can see his share of voice is very divided. The biggest one it looks like is this one here talking about growth. We can also sort the different posts after share of voice. And then we can see that the growth and the Instagram caption and these type of posts is what he do the most. And again, over here, we can see the average engagement rate is a little bit higher. So he should definitely focus on those type of posts. But that is the way that you compare yourself to your competitors. And a great way of using this tool is to see what worked for your competitors and then basically do the same for your own Instagram profile, of course, in your own style. Now, when we move over to the pricing plans, they are simple. They have three plans and all of the plans only differs on the amount of team members and the amount of workspaces you need. Overall, this tool is very cheap compared to the alternatives because you get unlimited AI generation in all three plans. Now, the alternatives to Predis.ai is FeedHive and Okoya. I have both reviewed these previously and I will say that both of these products are ahead of Predis.ai. At the moment, Predis.ai does not have so many integrations and the design phases are very limited. Whereas for Okoya, we can really design out our post, but there are some issues with the flow and FeedHive, which I have previously reviewed, is also just overall a great platform with great performance. Now, Predis.ai is still a new tool, which means they have a lot of work to do to catch up to the alternatives. This also means that their roadmap looks very interesting. First off, they are building a more extensive competitor analysis. And this competitor analysis is already a unique selling proposition for them. They're even working on adding the Facebook page integration. So this competitor analysis will just be even more extensive as a stronger product. Then they're adding more language support so we can generate content in more languages. And last but not least, they're adding a Shopify and a WooCommerce integration. This means that we will be able to publish posts about specific products or categories coming directly from WooCommerce and Shopify. All of these elements are very interesting. And as you can see, they're working on a lot more. Now, after using Predis.ai and similar tools in the industry, I want to share my pros and cons with you. Starting with the pros, you get automatic content generation. You get the competitor analysis and you get extensive post editing. Whereas for the cons, I'm missing more social media integrations. I'm missing more templates and the hashtags. I need more data behind why they're good to use. Predis.ai is a great software if you need inspiration for what to post on your social media accounts. Overall, I will give Predis.ai three stars. It's great at generating content, but I need more automation, RSS upload, and more social media integrations. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.